we are asked to add or subtract the given rational expressions. Notice for both examples we have unlike denominators or denominators that are not the same. And therefore the first step is going to be to determine a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator. To do this we will first factor the denominators, then determine the LCD from the factors, then we will multiply the numerator and denominator of each fraction by any missing factors to form the least common denominator, then we will add or subtract the fractions and simplify if possible. So going back to our first example, let's look at the factors of both denominators. For the first fraction we have five over six x. Let's write six x as two times three times x. And then we have plus seven over nine x. Let's write nine x as three times three times x. As long as both denominators have the same factors, we do have a common denominator. Let's see if we can build the least common denominator by looking at the factors of two, three, and x. Because this denominator has a factor of two, and this denominator has zero factors of two, the LCD must contain one factor of two. Now looking at the factors of three, this denominator has one factor of three, this denominator has two factors of three, which means the LCD must contain two factors of three. And then looking at the factors of x, we have one factor of x here and one factor of x here, which means the LCD must contain one factor of x. This product is the least common denominator, which is 18x. You need to write both fractions as the equivalent fractions with the denominator of 18x. Looking at the factors of this denominator, notice how it's missing one factor of three, and therefore we multiply the numerator and denominator of this fraction by three to create an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 18x. Looking at this fraction, notice how the denominator is missing a factor of two, and therefore to form an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 18x, we multiply the numerator and denominator by two. And now let's rewrite both fractions. Here we have 15 over 18x plus 14 over 18x. And now because we have a common denominator, we can add the fractions, the denominator remains the same, and we add the numerators, which is 15 plus 14. 15 plus 14 is equal to 29. The final sum is 29 over 18x. There are no common factors other than one between the numerator and denominator, and therefore this does not simplify further. Let's look at our second example. Let's write two over x squared as two over x times x, and then minus, we have one over the factor x squared plus x. Remember the first step is to factor out the greatest common factor. Both terms share a common factor of x. If we factor x from x squared, we're left with x. If we factor x from x, we're left with one. So if we factor x from x squared plus x, we're left with a factor of x plus one. Now let's see if we can build the least common denominator. Notice how this denominator has two factors of x. This denominator has one factor of x. The LCD must contain two factors of x. Looking at the factor of x plus one, here we have one factor of x plus one. Here we have zero factors of x plus one. The LCD must contain one factor of x plus one, which means the LCD is equal to x squared times the quantity x plus one. We need to write both fractions as the equivalent fractions with the denominator of x squared times the quantity x plus one. Well, this denominator already has two factors of x, but it's missing a factor of x plus one. We need to multiply the numerator and denominator by x plus one to form an equivalent fraction with the denominator of x squared times the quantity x plus one. Now for the second fraction, notice how it's only missing one factor of x, and therefore we multiply the numerator and denominator by one factor of x. Notice now both the denominators are x squared times the quantity x plus one. So this first fraction is now two times the quantity x plus one over the LCD of x squared times the quantity x plus one. And then minus, here we just have one times x, which is x, over again x squared times the quantity x plus one. Now be careful, we don't want to simplify here because if we do, we lose the common denominator. So now that we have a common denominator, we can subtract. The denominator remains the same and we subtract the numerators, which gives us two times the quantity x plus one minus x. And now we need to simplify the numerator. Here we can distribute the two and then subtract x. 
we have 2x plus 2 and then minus x and 2x minus x or 2x minus 1x is just x and therefore the simplified difference is x plus 2 over x squared times the quantity x plus 1. There are no common factors other than 1 between the numerator and denominator and therefore this is the simplified difference. I hope you found this helpful.